Now for a real treat. Um, I've been chasing this girl down for a long time. <laughs> Jessica Watson, the first, uh, the, the youngest girl to ever, the youngest person to ever sail around the world nonstop, I think. Yeah. Uh, before they ended the record, the right? Unofficially, yes. Unofficial. Uh, we'll, you know what? Screw the World Speed Sailing Record Council. We will always keep the record. Yeah, I think it's we'll amazing. <laughs> um, at 15 years, 16 years old, 16, yeah. and turning 17, you sailed around the world alone, unassisted, regardless of the other people that tried and failed. You did something really, really special that 99% of the sailors in the world could never have pulled off, regardless of their age. Oh, I think it's more whether they actually wanted to enough, and there's not many people who've got like screws missing loose in their head who would actually want to do a voyage like that. If they wanted to, they could. It's more a matter of having that crazy streak to want to do something like that. But So what is it about your upbringing that made you want to do that? <laughs> I mean, it's such an um, odd thing for anyone to kind of want to do. Look, I mean, I was lucky. We lived around the water. My parents are not massive sailors. It was certainly not them. It was not their idea in any shape or form. You know, they would much rather I played an instrument. <laughs> Uh, something along those lines. But I think the thing that they did give me was this very amazing belief that I could do anything I set my mind to. And I think mum kind of shot herself in the foot a little bit there because, um, you know, you can do anything you want and, you know, you can do incredible things is all very well until I come and say, I want to start around the world. <laughs> and then I think she goes, oh, you've taken that a little bit too far. But <laughs> Did you at least, did you at least learn how to play the cello while you're going around the world or something? No, no. I, <laughs> I decided not to try and do the whole musical instrument while I was at sea thing. <laughs> now, you, you came home to huge fanfare, obviously. You, you, you had a book deal. You've written a book. You had a great sponsorship from Alabash. Yeah, which is sponsoring Loyal, which is incredible. Um, you know, have them back on board and sailing with them again. Yeah, big supporters so, of sailing. So, so what what goes on from there? I mean, is this something you you parlay into a career? Obviously, you're racing on the Loyal, which is pretty badass. I couldn't yeah. get I couldn't get a spot on here. Um, so, how, where does that go with you? Um, look, it's interesting because I had, and you know, such a busy few years. And for years there, before I started around the world, it was just all about that voyage, just living and breathing it. And we did the Hobart with the youth team, and that was another incredibly busy year. Um, so these days, I'm kind of enjoying um, studying, and <laughs> we've got a little wooden boat these days that I'm absolutely loving, just cruising, a um, little bit of dinghy sailing. I can't say I'm particularly good at it, but the skiffs are definitely teaching me a lot because you know I don't have that racing background. I have so much to learn, and I want to keep building those skills, but. At the same time, I want to have a little bit of fun while I'm young and so you're okay, study. So you're okay with having a regular life and not just becoming like a like a, a dock rat? Um, yeah, a bit of both. You know, I absolutely, obviously love sailing and want to keep doing a lot of it. And I'm not sure quite where it will lead me. But for right now, I love not having a huge sort of project hanging over my head and spending more time getting into trouble as a young person. That's not a bad thing. How old are you now? 20. Jesus Christ. No longer a teenager. All terrible. the way around the world via Cape Horn <laughs> at 20 and long before that. It's pretty amazing stuff. Now on the loyal, yeah. what are you going to be doing? Look, my role is quite interesting on board this boat because the size of me compared to the size of just about everything I can, it's a bit embarrassing to admit, but hardly lift one of the biggest sail bags on board, let alone yeah. the sails. <laughs> so obviously I'm pretty useless physically and I'm quite late to the boat. So. My job is just to be useful where I can, and if that's you know fetching coffee, tidying up lines, um, you know a bit of button pushing, um, you know wherever I can be helpful, I'm sure I'm good at. Learning so much from the guys as well. I mean, obviously the sailors on board here are incredible, so just to be around them and soaking it up is pretty amazing. Yeah, um, you you went around the world at an average speed of about four and a half knots. Yeah. <laughs> Have you done much sailing at 28 knots? Uh, a little bit. We were hitting speeds like that, um, you know, the sailing I have done on this boat and, you know, that's sort of the first time I've really been sailing at these speeds and it's pretty special. It's a little bit different to where I came from. Does it charge you up like it does being in the middle of the Southern Ocean in a storm? Um, it is different. I'm, I'm not an adrenaline junkie, believe it or not. No, um, really? So the speed's an interesting thing for me. me. It's not the first thing that gets me um, you know, excited about sailing a like this, but it's certainly incredible. It, it, I didn't realize how much rush it was, I suppose, until, until you're doing it. And I'm looking forward to some pretty good rides through the race. Now, one of the really tough things for any sailor, but especially a female sailor, is getting and grabbing a sponsor and, and that kind of support. You obviously have a great relationship with Ella Bache, Bache, Bache whatever it is, yeah. Bache. Um, do you have any interest in parlaying that into something in the future, into a Vendée Globe bid, into some <laughs> one of these kind of things? 
Look, I'm not sure. I've, I've been incredibly fortunate and very, very lucky in the support I have had, and, and that's yeah, that is amazing. Um, considering you know the girls who do struggle out there, um, but I'm not sure. As I said, for right now, there are things I want to do in the future, certainly. But I just want to have a bit of fun, keep building my sailing skills, and see where it takes me. I'm not in any rush to jump into something just now. All right. Well, sailor chick of the year, <laughs> twenty year old superstar, beautiful girl, and uh, and obviously super super accomplished. Check her out at jessicawatson.com.au. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. A very pleasure much. to meet you. Thanks.